Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to get long or how to have long lasting lipstick because I know it's like fall time and everyone is into wearing, or not everyone, but most people are going to be transitioning into the fall lips like dark and berries and stuff like that um, lipstick. So hold on. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do to get long lasting lips is to make sure that you have your lips exfoliated and you want your lips exfoliated so that way you won't have any um what's it called any dried chap nasty lips skin hanging off your lips especially when you wear lipstick it's really noticeable so you don't want to emphasize that and then the next thing you want to do is have chapstick on moisturize your lips whatever and let it sink in and then blot it off um i just put a little more on but you want to blot off the excess because you don't want the lipstick to slide around so yeah and then the next step for me, you can apply lip liner or base or whatever you want to do, primer. For me, it's easiest if I just go ahead and apply concealer. So I'm going to use the Studio Sculpt Concealer. And I'm going to put this all around my lips. And you don't have to be inside the lips because um, putting it around your lips is going to create um, a nice crisp line when you apply your lips. your concealer applied or your base you're going to want to take your lipstick and I'm going to be using a wet n wild lipstick this is the 908c you won't really be able to tell um but it's this really pretty magenta plum ish color and I am going to just apply this all over my lips and it doesn't really have to be even you want to take a lip brush because you want it to be more precise so using a lip brush will help give you that precision Okay, so after you've achieved the um, look that you're going for or you're done with your lips, if you made any mistakes, you can go ahead and take that concealer and um, take a small a small concealer brush. And I, this is from e.l.f. It's $1.12 at Target. Um, and then take just a little bit of the concealer and fix any mistakes. And if you want to, you can just go around your lips again and it'll create like a nice highlight to emphasize your lips. And then just blend it out like that. Okay. You can apply um, lip gloss or whatever. But I'm going to use this lip gloss from Sephora. And this is like the shiznit right here. Like for real. This is the main point of this video is to have long lasting lips. And this is Sephora lip gloss. And I bought it at, excuse me, I bought it at Sephora. Actually, I bought it last year, so I'm not sure if they changed it or if it costs more or less. But I bought it for $8. What I'm going to do is take the product onto my lip brush and um, just apply it right on top of my lips, just patting it. And this does not give you a glossy finish or anything like that. It actually helps your lipstick. It's lip last, hello. So it's going to help your lipstick last for a real, really long time. I used it last year on Halloween and um, also I think another, I think Halloween and one time at work. And it lasted for about, I think it was like, eight to ten hours somewhere around there but I had I was drinking and um, eating and my lipstick did not budge it was still fully there I wore red lipstick so you know it's really noticeable when um, your lipstick is coming off so um, when you're applying lips bold lipstick like this you want to make sure that you keep your face pretty neutral I mean unless that's the look you're going for but I personally think like lips bold lips look really nice with neutral face so I already applied my foundation and my powder what I'm going to do now is take this um, NYC color whatever like bronzing powder I'm going to take the bronze the dark side and I'm going to contour my cheeks really quickly I'm going to take the golden part and use it as a highlight so go ahead and apply that as your highlight Okay, and that pretty much completes the look. So I just have on basic eyeliner and mascara. And um, hopefully this video was a little bit helpful to you guys. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.